Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. Today I'm joined by Dave Welch from Infinera. Welcome Dave. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Dave, what are your top three technologies to watch in the carrier space over the next five to 10 years? There's a bunch of stuff going on uh, in the network and it's all about scale. It is about creating a multi-layered uh, infrastructure and about creating services through an SDN structure. What new levels of automation can SDN bring? Uh, SDN can, can bring a number of uh, layers, uh, uh, levels of automation to it. And so let me talk about it and break it into two parts. There's the automation looking down uh, into the network where it's going to see an intelligent transport network uh, coupled with its layer three uh, device which is bringing traffic into that network. The multi-layer device allows the management of the information between the optical layer and an OTN switching layer. And that gives the cap uh, opportunity to bring protection mechanisms, to bring uh, improve the resiliency of the network, to bring rest restoration mechanisms into the transport layer, greatly reducing the economics of these uh, multi-layered networks. But then SDN also creates another opportunity, which is now looking back up at the customer uh, layer, where SDN can sit there and, and take product like ourselves, which is SDN ready, uh, plug that in, identify that I need to get a packet service from city A to city B and say, okay, what type of uh, uh, protection mechanism would you like to deploy? What type of latency would you like to take advantage of? And create a, a differential uh, offering to their customers and they can value that differently. So it gives the carrier an opportunity to create more uh, value layered services to their customer and to be able to continue to build on those applications for that. The key thing in order to make SDN truly come about is to have an intelligent transport network that easily plugs in and can, can supply those different the capabilities for those differentiator offerings. And on the transport layer side, how do you see capabilities evolving for carriers moving forward? Uh, the capabilities are going to demand scale. They need to be able to deploy capacity and uh, more and more capacity on a single operational cycle. Infinera has been all about creating uh, high capacity photonic integrated circuits and developing networks built in and around that. Uh, and it's the combination of high capacity uh, DWDM with an integrated digital switching or in the long haul that's OTN based uh, switching structure to be able to deploy high capacity uh, in quick operational cycles. So it's very much about the integrated approach. Absolutely. To, to be able to get the economics you need to continue to integrate the optics at the same pace as Moore's Law and Electronics, uh, which means you're going to be moving to terabit uh, uh, optical uh, units of bandwidth uh, in the very near future. And how are carriers building more redundancy into their networks? Well, it's a, it's a migration that's going on today, which is to be able to develop this intelligent transport network. And what I mean by that is no longer is transport just large point-to-point -point pipes. They're meshed uh, optical and digital switching integrated and converged onto a single platform and then using, using, utilizing automation uh, across those multi-layers uh, to be able to manage that. What comes about as soon as you move the digital switching in with the optical layer structure, it allows you to develop things such as our product which has a fast shared mesh protection capability and it creates a sub 50 millisecond uh, crossover. So if you had a fiber cut and you know you have uh, several hundred gigabits of traffic or even several terabits of traffic you can take the high priority of that traffic and reroute it on one path uh, which has uh, uh, the capacity available or the best latency and you can take the rest of the traffic and put it on a secondary path uh, in that process and that creates a huge economic savings uh, for the network by pulling that function which had historically been in the layer three function of the network now into an intelligent transport network. You end up with scale as a big driver, as scale being in where we're moving into the terabit era, uh, with scale means I need to also move uh, the intelligence of the network uh, and the protection mechanisms of the network into that transport layer. And how competitive is the vendor space right now, particularly in the transport layer? Well, it's always been a competitive market, but I will say it's, it has thinned down quite a lot. Over the decades, we've had a number of companies uh, either uh, disappear or be consolidated uh, and the optical transport layer in the long haul has thinned down to a, a handful of uh, capable uh, multi-layered transport uh, companies. Uh, in the metro space, in the metro, high capacity metro core, you'll see the same players participating. So it's competitive. Uh, no one can sit on their laurels for, for very long and you need to be very innovative to be a uh, 
a leader in the industry, but it has changed quite a bit over the past decade. Thank you, Dave, for joining us today on Capacity TV. Alex, it was a pleasure being here with you. Thank you.